Yes. How are your robots? Yes, thank you. Fine. Thank you very much for calling back. I just hope it's not too noisy with people speaking in the background. I was going to go outside, but I was expecting you to text me back and say, yes, we'll speak at 11.15, and then I would have gone outside. I can still do yeah, that if you want me to. I can't hear you. You have, to say, you have to say that again. I can't hear you. It's, 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 just say that again. I'm at work at the moment, but I'm more interested in the salvation of your soul. So I made out time to call you at that time. Sorry, I couldn't test you back. Right. Because right. I'm at work. But it's okay. I can make time to speak to you about salvation. And if you still yearn for more, then I can direct you to the pastor who can speak to you further right. about it. But like I told you, I, I don't get involved in um, discussions such as tithing. It's too weighty an issue for me to discuss. I mean, it's not for me, it's for the Holy Spirit. But what I'm more interested in, in is in your salvation. It's all right. Well, not really. That's it's none of your business. <laughs> I, I don't speak to strangers about the state of my soul. You know, I mean, do you do that? Do you go up to strangers in the street and say, I want, I want counselling? you know, about the state of my salvation? If I need help, yes, yes. I mean... Yeah, it's only those who need salvation that go looking for salvation. Why yes, but I salvation need... is between me and God. It's not between me, you and God. You don't come between me and God, do you? You're not my mediator Absolutely. between me and God. Yeah, like I told you, I'm only interested in discussing salvation. I'm not interested in fighting. It's right. not something that I do discuss. It's just... You know, useless okay. arguments. Okay. There's a um, video on YouTube of a chair that, Miss, that Bishop Adeboye, I believe Bishop Adeboye is the head of the RCCG church, is that That's right? That's right, yes. yes. Um, there's a, us, yeah. yes. There's, a, there's a chair that he sat in. It's a white chair, looks like a white okay. plastic chair, and people okay, are genuflecting possibly. before it, which means they're going down on one knee before it, some people touch the chair and then touch their forehead as if some sort of power is transferred from where Bishop Adeboye sat to them through the chair. I mean, could, could I just finish? Down to their feet. Could I just, could yeah. I just finish? And, and um, I think two people even kissed the chair where Bishop Adeboye had placed his ass. Now, I don't believe that there is a chair that somehow has some... Um, some form of grace that's been left in it, some just power, like, because like Bishop Adeboli is sat in it. Just like me, I wouldn't go out of my way to kiss the chair, but then it's not out of place because we were told in Acts of the Apostle that uh, Apostle Paul and downstairs, but this time instead of waiting around, he just basically went down the stairs, kept going through. Sorry, could you just could you just go through that again? Um, I've actually plugged some headphones into this phone now, so I can hear you a lot a lot clearer. Because I. In in yes, in Lagos, Nigeria, this was a chair. It looks like a white plastic chair that Bishop Adeboye had sat in, and they believe that the grace of God is mediated through this chair through them.